My personal hell is being stuck in a conversation with someone who doesn't have the capacity for fourth dimensional thinking. Wow. <laughs> it's just hell being so smart, I can't deal with it. Being a genius surrounded by a whole bunch of morons. You know, that's the sort of vibe we always get on this subreddit. Like, I'm so much better than everybody, I can't even help it. It's actually a burden to be this smart. It must be so unbelievably awful to be so smart. Really smart people aren't usually like douchebags. Doesn't mean you can't be polite to people. Oh my God. You know, the sorts of people that are always like, oh my God, you're such a moron. I'm so much smarter than you. Usually aren't that smart. And that's the mother flipping tea. All right, let's go. Roll the intro. Hey guys, welcome back. Hope you're doing fantastic and thank you so much for tuning back in. I hope I sound great right now. I really do. If I don't sound better, I'll be really disappointed because I'm talking into my new microphone, my new Shure microphone. It's really cool. It's really pretty and I'm super excited. Yeah, today's a good day. I hope you guys are doing great. Thank you for all the love and support. It means the world to me. We're closing in really fast on 60,000 subs. That's insane. Like, I actually can't believe that. We're going to be at 100 soon, guys. I am so proud of us. So yeah, you guys rock and you're the best. I really appreciate it. All right, let's jump into some big brain geniuses. Okay, so a t-shirt that says A squared plus B squared equals and E equals M. <laughs> Get it? C squared. I was today years old when I realized how much of a nerd I am. My first thought was cute, but with Einstein, C was the speed of light. And with Pythagoras, C is the hypotenuse. And I didn't have to look that up. That was my first thought. Okay. <laughs> Yay. We just love a genius, don't we, guys? Oh my god, I'm such a nerd. <laughs> Is it bad that I feel like I would have said that when I was like 12 or 13? I probably have said something like that. I think a lot of people go through a phase where they think that they're really smart, <laughs> but then you're like, oh, <laughs> I'm not. The two highest IQ scores ever recorded belong to women. That's unusual considering I've never met a woman smarter than me. Well, that's unfair considering I've never met a man smarter than me either. Oh, come on, buddy. <laughs> yeah, well, that is unfair, I guess, because um, I haven't actually met anybody smarter than me. I am a genius. <laughs> I don't know what these people are thinking when they post this sort of stuff, but when other people read that, they're not like, oh my God, you must be a genius. They're thinking, why would you post that? <laughs> you know, I don't think many people are actually that impressed. To be fair, an MBA is basically the easiest degree to get. I could get an MBA with my hands tied behind my back. Yeah, then do it. Nah, not worth my time. I don't want to spend two years learning profit and revenue cost. Yeah, okay, bud. Yeah, but that's exactly right. Don't say that sort of stuff if you're not going to back it up. Like, yeah, if you could do it with your hands behind your back, go and do it. Oh, God. <laughs> I like it when other people call people out on this sort of stuff. It's really easy to talk a big game on the internet, but it's a different story when it's actually true. <laughs> but no, 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 not worth my time. <laughs> I'm far too smart for that. I'm studying the universe as we speak. Okay, so this is a response to somebody saying, treat women like people. Oh god, I'm already worried. Neither necessary nor sufficient. I fail in dating and do. They succeeded and don't. Wow. <laughs> Treating someone as the person they are is neither necessary nor sufficient. For ethical behavior, it is necessary. However, the dark tetrid exists because it is not essential for all dating goals. Oh no, I see why they don't date you. Yeah, there should never really be like a but response to somebody saying treat women like people. Like, yeah, obviously. That's not really something you should ever argue. And if you're seeing somebody who does argue that, I'd probably walk the other direction. But no, it's neither necessary or sufficient to treat women like people. Yeah, okay, dude. Don't get offended, but I don't think I'm going to take your advice. Okay, so this one's a new comment on an old Pokemon Go video. I never played that crap. I don't follow trends. I'm an individual with a mind of his own, which in today's world is rarer than the rarest Pokemon, of which I would have no idea of what that is, naturally. Well... <laughs> I'm an individual with a brain. That's why I don't play Pokemon Go. Oh my God, dude, what are you talking about? Why would you ever judge somebody and their intelligence by whether or not they play Pokemon Go? And also apparently this isn't a new video whatsoever. And like, yeah, just felt like commenting that. Okay, I'm sorry that I've played Pokemon Go before, which automatically means I'm an idiot. Damn it. Do you plan to go to university? United States Air Force, actually, in the nursing field. Oh damn, sounds good. Good luck though, because they're hard to get in. I'm too 
too smart, lol, so I'll be fine. Um, it's two with two O's smart, by the way. <laughs> oh. <laughs> What's that quote that everyone says? The more you know, the more you know you don't know. A lot of people that think that they're really smart, like really aren't. I feel like I'm at a point where I know that I just don't know much at all. <laughs> like really nothing. You know, like you go outside, you look up at the stars and you're like, oh my God, I'm a monkey. But then there are people like this that are like, nah, I'm too smart. Oh, <laughs> red flag. Oh my God, I think this one was from the Nice Guys video, wasn't it? I'm going to read it again because I loved it so much. Anyway, you also seem like an easygoing person, which I really adore. So much for the self-deprecating humor already. Ha <laughs> ha. Am I being intimidating? I tend to write high level English already up front, but don't worry, you can rest assured that I don't intend to overwhelm. Dot I in fact trying to impress you. You also have a wide pelvis bone, which makes you look fertile and procreation ready, thus more feminine and attractive. And then another full stop out of nowhere. Say like a woman that deserves to grow my seeds. The real question is now, will you nurse my seeds and grow them? <laughs> you know what, buddy? I'm gonna have to pass on that one. I don't really feel like nursing your seeds today. I think I'm really just too intimidated by your high-level English. You fail to recognize the quantum duality of being both of these states simultaneously. You fail to understand the meme. I personally believe I at least partially understand it, but it's very possible that I don't, considering the infinitely many ways to interpret any information that exists, including me. Hence why Socratic discussions are lovely. Oh yay! <laughs> so lovely. Oh no, sorry, did I intimidate you with my high-level English? I didn't mean to. Oh silly me, I'm being too smart again. Sometimes I can't control my genius. I get pretty tired of seeing people that like purposely make their comments like super wordy for no reason, trying super hard to sound smart. Or maybe I'm just intimidated. A question for the other geniuses out there. Have you ever gotten to the point where you were all like, okay, now I can chill out. Never met one who could. I'm not saying I'll stop being a genius, but I will do a better job of letting others into my life if they smell good. None of that cheap Victoria's Secret stuff. Oh, sorry, secret. Just please don't flinch when I grab your hand. It's okay to blush. Oh, no, that's ridiculous. That has to be a joke, doesn't it? Where they said, I will not stop being a genius, but I will do a better job of letting others into my life. You know, that's a good thing. But like, come on. <laughs> A question for all the other geniuses out there. You're laying it on a little thick, aren't you, dude? I'm a genius, I'm really smart, and what was that thing about smelling good? What does that have to do with you being a genius? Nothing, you just like people that smell good? Okay. For somebody who's a quote-unquote genius, that was really confusing. Oh, maybe because I'm not a genius. Damn it. Oh, come on, that's not nice. Nice doesn't exist in nature. Every brain in every living being exists to survive and reproduce. Even friendship is not magical. It's a give and take system until one side is not giving back and it becomes toxic. Or, you know, you have children and then screw everything who isn't your child. It's just how our biological brain works with a little smiley face, super passive aggressive. I will, however, ask you on the specific meaning. What did I write that was not nice? Um, that's a bot, you idiot. Oh no. <laughs> He's replying to a bot <laughs> and trying to act super smart. It's literally that meme of that guy talking to the brick wall. Who are you talking to, buddy? It's a robot. I hope everything's okay. As an aviation geek, I understood exactly what Stewie meant and spent the rest of the skit giggling to myself. That has 800 likes. <laughs> Whoa, and are you talking about Family Guy, Stewie? God, I hope not. Actually, I do remember watching Family Guy when I was really young and I used to think it was so cool that Stewie was so smart. I was just giggling to myself because I understand everything that he said. Oh, okay. <laughs> you know, like that's totally fine, but it's as soon as you say it and post it, you know, it becomes a little bit cringe. I've noticed a trend. Usually more attractive people tend to be more arrogant. Actually, let me rephrase that. Those that perceive themselves to be more attractive act that way. Usually the two correlate closely, though there are outliers. The title says pretty privilege. And yeah, I guess that's all you're talking about. Okay. <laughs> and is that even true? You know, there's a difference between being arrogant and being confident. Dude, I don't even know. Let me know in the comments. Okay, here we have a Tinder bio. My story is one way too long, complicated, and generally just impossible to comprehend for normal human beings. Oh my god, I love this. And seems like I'm not done writing it, so I take it as my moral obligation to every sentient form of life to just keep it to myself. Wonderful life of an introvert. There is always but, but I'm being
being told there is still some intelligent people out there. I guess I came to see it for myself. Oh, buddy, that's the worst Tinder bio I think I've ever seen. Oh, he's acting so smug and so annoying and pretentious. My story is way too long, complicated, and generally impossible to comprehend for normal human beings. That's not a good way to start a bio, dude. You might as well have just said, I think I'm much better than you, because that's pretty much all you're saying. Oh, I'm sure. One day when you can comprehend fact, we'll talk again. Until then, I'll continue being a high intellect genius, and you will most likely continue on a path of ignorance. Good luck. Oh, the audacity. <laughs> you know, like, even if they are right, and, you know, this person is super ignorant, and they kind of deserve to hear something like that, like, just don't say it, you know? Come on. I'm a genius, and I want everybody to know it. If you can solve this, it means your IQ is 188. What, do you want me to lower my IQ? <laughs> wow. <laughs> my IQ is 257, and I am a true genius. And, like, what is that? Like, Sudoku? Okay. <laughs> wow. You know, you can actually be a smart person and not tell everyone. Like, they just want everybody to know. The cognitive... Didn't even spell that properly, so we're not off to a good start. The cognitive capacity necessary to compute such nuance and sophisticated... Oh, my God. If you're going to say this, dude, at least spell the words right. Nuanced and sophisticated ideas is not one that is possessed merely by your average layman, which is why I understand why you chose to reply with an answer that ignores the central objective and pinpointed your efforts on my example of Karl Marx. Oh, surely that's like the epitome of somebody just trying to look smart. <laughs> like, God, dude. The cognitive capacity necessary to compute such nuance and sophisticated... Oh. <laughs> the self-awareness is at zero. All right, I think it's time for some wholesome memes. I just don't think I can take any more geniuses today. When you and your childhood bestie took different paths in life, but you still have a strong bond with them whenever you reunite. Oh, how beautiful. That's pretty much me with most of my friends. I'm a YouTuber, so I pretty much do my own thing. But every time we hang out, it's like we see each other all the time. Bloody beautiful. How wholesome. My stomach growls. Grandma. So anyway, I started cooking. Oh, God, I love family dinners and stuff like that. When there's just way too much food, that's my happy place. All right, everybody, thank you so much for watching today's video. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you smash like, make sure you subscribe, and leave a comment down below what you thought. Oh, the geniuses were strong today, weren't they? I think I'm really just intimidated by how smart they are. All right, today's comment of the day goes to Mia. The amount of guys that actually think like this actually concerns me, especially since Vincey never seems to run out of content. And that was on my last pointlessly gendered video. Like, yeah, I absolutely agree. Like, I don't think I'm ever gonna run out of content. There are so many crazy people in the world that are saying funny stuff. Like, we could be here for a lifetime. I'm starting to lose my voice, so I better get out of here. Have a wonderful rest of your day, guys. Have a wonderful night. Thank you so much for supporting me. It means the world to me. I really appreciate it. And guess what, you legends? I'll see you tomorrow at the exact same time with two brand new fun videos. I'll see you then.